Hi Aries. So Monday the 23rd for you Aries with Queen of Cups. And Queen of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, maybe your mother, very motherly feelings this energy represents. Um, passive energy, enjoyable energy, um, liking something which you are having right now, like you have your home, gives you pleasure, um, like you have your children, gives you pleasure, could be some any other situation. Okay, it's a general reading, but we can talk about any other situation which you kind of got something out of got something for yourself out of that situation mostly emotionally this isn't kind of it will pay my bills okay it's not about that but you are satisfied with that what you have i mean you are loving it in, in that sense you love that what you have you kind of um you comfortable with that what you have you comfortable with that what is around you with people around you with place with employment with something today you know, you kind of feel you are satisfied now with that. That what you've got, that what happened, makes you happy. In that sense, could very well be just energy around you, energy within you. Doesn't need to be person. And I think it's going to be just that because you do have something. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles is something which you have, okay? You manage to accomplish something okay seven of pentacles accomplished something which was important which was useful for further development okay could be savings you needed to save every month certain amount of money until you get so and so so you can buy some machinery and you can start your own business and there is the point when you have that certain amount saved okay um, you um, educated yourself you needed to add to your skills to your qualities to your knowledge and you were learning this course another course another thing and now you have completed your education you can now go for work you can open your own business you feel yourself ready for something new to invest yourself into some business some project or so could be some property could be anything any asset okay like, yes, business, properties, land, savings or so. But I think assets with something which you managed to achieve. I don't know which made you happy, which you were satisfied with. Maybe something around your home, maybe something around your family. But there is achievement for you. And, and this achievement wasn't end goal, in fact. This achievement supposed to be now starting point for something else. This is investment. Okay, Seven of Pentacles is your investment. Those are seeds, okay, which are supposed to grow now. But the ready thing is there, okay, very useful thing. Money, property, you, your knowledge is ready there to be invested or invested already. Whichever way you are showing yourself very satisfied because of this because this one guarantees growth this one will grow this one will develop this is your investment will bring you something will get something in return but this point was very important perhaps you did put effort to get yourself to this position okay to save that money took time to to reconstruct that house so you can rent it out now you to to complete your education so you can now apply for jobs quality good quality jobs or something in that sense a very very lovely day you are very pleased with that what you have right now which is a useful thing and you can invest it to secure your growth your development to secure your future that's your monday hi taurus so taurus your monday show sure. with the three of swords Look, it's not a big deal. Three of Swords is disappointment, but one that doesn't last long. Somebody maybe said something about you, somebody offended you, some situation was unpleasant, it didn't go your way. Maybe somebody else is telling you their difficulties, their disappointments or so. Or um, you could hear just just a story, even when you watch on the TV, you know, some some um, natural disaster or something, you know, and it touches your heart. You feel sad and about that, what you are looking at. This energy stands for that as well, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna... Um, four of Swords. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> 
you were a healing on this day. There is something offensive, perhaps something over the weekend. Maybe somebody said something, offended you, was rude with you. Usually those prickly stuff you encounter with another. But you were healing it, okay? Four of Swords is you healing it, trying to heal. Um, there is perhaps a solution for this. You need to sleep over. You need one or two days, three days, and it will, you know, begin to dissipate. It's only that. With Four of Swords, I mean, it is an uncomfortable moment. Maybe somebody told you truth you didn't want to hear. Okay, it could very well be something like that. You don't have response here, you don't have answer, perhaps you're not going to even have it. You will just, you know, stand up and continue with your life. I don't know, it's not going to be forgotten, it won't be even forgiven, but will dissipate, will begin to fade very soon. I mean, give it a couple of days, that's it. Now, that was your Monday. Now, Hi, Gemini. So, Monday for you, Gemini with Ace of Swords, lovely Ace of Swords, beautiful energy, certain, truthful, clear, okay, um, understanding that you finally have offer which you cannot resist, finally have something, okay, for yourself. This is truthful offer, this is truthful opportunity, you can make it this time, this time with this energy, yes, you can make it. Yeah. Your happy self, that what you do understand, just what you wished for, finally to have opportunity, but the real one, not opportunity with maybe, maybe, or if you, then we'll, N nothing like that, Ace of Swords is truthful, will we'll cut away, will detach you from something, maybe that what you wish, but you wished for something, this is very... Uh, material wish to have something to secure your life to have comfortable life nine of cups does have comfortable life everything is uh, there enjoying the material life food drinks abode satisfaction with things which you were having like you always wanted to have some type of life now you've got opportunity to make that type of life you see what i'm saying or to buy something could also be buying something now you finally have opportunity to buy just that thing you always wanted it this is your wish card this is something which you can have now and you always wished for that whether that is a dress or suits or shoes or it's house or cars or you know just the way of life okay you wanted a different type of life but it, but opportunity for it which you wished for is out there and it's truthful now you can have it soon very soon perhaps opportunity is truthful you cannot lose this one it stands for sure so that's your Monday Hi, Cancer. So, Cancer, your Monday with Chariot. That's you. I love this energy. It's a winning energy. It is you ready to what is on your mind? To do something, to compete with somebody, to um, clean the house, to relocate, to buy a car. What is on your mind? You are ready for it. Nothing anymore to learn or to uh, analyze or to research. You've got it all. So that's your chariot here on a Monday. Lovely. With temperance. Look, these two do have um, a little bit of problem when you feel like you are having full control. And not just, this isn't just about you. It's not just having control of yourself, your deeds, your life, your job or something. This includes other people. When you're supposed to tell them how to do that, how to behave, or what is needed, what is needed for you to guide them, to narrow their path, you know, towards yours, towards your goals, okay, um, you see what I'm saying, you are in fact using your influence, okay, to guide other people towards that, what you want for yourself, um, that is a little bit negative side of this energy, but could be positive as well, if you were in the position of, um, I don't know, some sort of leadership in your company, maybe, maybe in your home, okay, it's good to have one person 
with sufficient knowledge, with sufficient training, okay, to guide others towards the same goal. It could be taken, you know, as positive and negative depending on your intentions, depending on the way you were, what you do, or so, with this energy. Now, another thing, you know, with these two, could be for those of you who did have some sort of monotonous, regular life, quiet life. We were talking something which is usual, ordinary, slow pace, balanced but slow pace, okay, in your life and for quite some time. Not a desperate, not melancholic, not depressed life, okay? This is your choice to be quiet, to be private person, okay? Now, suddenly, you have idea that you would love to kind of bring some excitement there. You would like to move into society. You would like to go maybe to a party. You would like now to go regularly to that nearby pub. Like, you never been there. You pass that pub every day. Never interested to go in to have drinks to see people to meet people now suddenly you have decided i am going to go to that pub every friday afternoon that will be your way or whatever other way that you choose for yourself i'm just giving you an example you are choosing to re-enter somehow that public life for those who were popular ones public figures once and then pulled back to have some quiet life, to raise children, to attend family duties, okay? Now is the time to re-enter that public life again. Re-entering, okay, public life, to be visible, to be popular again, to, I don't know, to be among people or so. For some of you, that could be also. But anyhow, whichever way, this is your decision. This is you controlling the situation, you being in charge, you knowing exactly what you were doing, why you are doing it, why you don't want to be anymore that private person. You want to know people. You want people to know you. You see what I'm saying? But you know exactly why you are doing it. You're doing it on purpose. So it, even if you don't have some, I don't know, practical reason for it, it's just what you feel like, what you want now for yourself. My point is that you are doing it consciously, okay? You are very much aware what you are doing on this day and why this purpose for this action today. So that's your Monday. Hi, Leo. So Leo, Monday, with judgment, I've seen judgment many times for this week. I'm going to pair it immediately because it can have a lot, a lot of meanings. Not for you with the Six of Swords, but that's your judgment to decide about some sort of unfavorable situation, maybe some conflict, maybe some sometimes in your life, usually judgment reflects on something from your past and you did have maybe some relationship, turbulent relationship, maybe something at work, okay, something in your office, maybe in your family, but it wasn't pleasant. This is turbulent times, this is conflicts, this is difficulties, okay, you did have and judgment stands there as a uh, decision, okay, now on this day, that you're not going to have it anymore, you will leave it behind. You were just turning back, you're not going to do that, that thing from your past. Not all of it, though, that what gave you problem. If you did have problem in the relationship, you will stop talking about that problem. Your partner cheated on you. And you make big fuss and you make big noise about that, big trouble, will the relationship even survive? And then you make decision not to mention it anymore. That's your solution. That what was the concrete problem, okay? That what gave you worries, that what you're going to discard. You will still keep relationship. You are staying with the person, but you are not mentioning, you are not talking about that. That's your solution. You see what I'm saying? It, solution is just to not worry anymore about that, what you used to worry, okay? Not to be in that trouble you used to be. Just by decision, just by removing yourself from that situation, concrete situation, which gave you trouble, okay? 
but otherwise the judgment still stays with the death from your past but you will bring up that what was good that what was worth saving you see what i'm saying a relationship is worth saving and you will stay okay you're not gonna break up you're not gonna divorce you're not gonna resign from work even though you did have problem at work in your office you will ignore it or leave it for somebody else to do, you will somehow extract yourself from the problem. You'll find a way to extract yourself from the concrete problem, but you will keep in a general idea about your relationship, about work, about that office, about something. Okay, general idea stays. Um, that what is good stays. And this is final decision. That how it's going to be from now on. It's not feeling now um, that you're going to celebrate right now on this day. But you do understand with time you will get there. You will feel better. It will be different. It, it will pass eventually. In that sense, this Monday, a bit tough. Hi, Virgo. And, yeah, your Monday with a chariot. I'm having this card often and a judgment. <laughs> but chariot is lovely, nothing wrong. It's a winning energy. It's you capable now to do something. Whatever that's on your mind, you can do it. You were trained well, you finished that course, you finished university, you've got the skill, if you needed some contracts or something, you've got it, you've got it all. With this energy, you are ready to move on towards your goal, whatever that your goal is. You are ready to win, to show yourself out there as a winner. Rather public energy, you want to be seen as a winner. Paid with the Queen of Swords. Now, look, Virgo, I think this is you. Queen of Swords often is, you know, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I see um, this energy with Virgo people very often, your mind very strong, mercurial, um, your analytical self, you, um, just that what I told you about chariot energy, if you needed something to learn, yes, you learned, to deal with uh, some administrative Requirements, yes, you dealt with that. You see what I'm saying? You dealt with all. You know it all now. You know exactly the whole process. You understand your way. This is now my way. This is what I'm supposed to do now. This is my profession from now on. This is my career. This is what I'm going to be from now on. This is how I'm going to behave from now on. You understand yourself. You understand your life. You understand the way you were, whether that is now your office, your business, or your school, or you personally, your life, you yourself in your life. Now you understand what's your way, where you stand, why you're supposed to behave this way, why you're supposed to do this way, why you're supposed to go on this way this is your way and you understand why you are ready for this new way which you are having in front of yourself chariot is moving he's got clear path he will win he will go and get something whatever that's out there trophy <laughs> out there of some sort um, you'll get it you know how to you've got your way hi libra Libra, Monday, with the temperance. Temperance is a balanced energy, slow moving, understanding circumstances, or, uh, uh, understanding where you are heading, what are you doing, where you are right now, what is supposed to be done. And it's not up to you. There is laws around, there is, um, I don't know, contracts, people who do have their habits, their wants, their career, interfering, interacting. You see what I'm saying? Understanding the life, how it works, um, could be just something like that. But uh, that energy suits you very well because it's very balanced. That's what you always strive for, for balance, for understanding. And there you were here on Monday. You got it. It's paired with um, the Empress. Now, these two were, I don't know, good and bad as everything. What I see as bad is being sometimes overly conservative, okay, with these two energies. 
Yes, it is important for you to have balance, no conflicts, okay? Whatever circumstances around, whatever people around, they have their needs, they have their wants, they have their characters, and you do understand and you are accepting it. You see what I'm saying? No fights. That what it is. This is world around me and I am there just to be very conservative sometimes against changes. I don't say that you might be having changes which you are obstructing, but this energy is accepting everything which is given, loyal to that what it is, okay? Not wanting to change, even enjoying it. Very conservative energy. Now, of course, there's good side in it, particularly for you, Libra. Feels good. Cannot be better. You really enjoy yourself. You love it. No conflict. People are doing what they're supposed to do. You do your stuff and everything is in harmony, in balance and everything moves slowly, no rush, no conflicts. Perfect day for you. Libra could also be something like that. You are enjoying this balanced, slow day. Very conservative, but good for you. For today, good enough. That's your Monday. Hi, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, Monday, the 23rd of September with 10 of Wands. Now, this is some, some sort of completion which is following which is supposed to happen now. Now, it's about to happen. You were perhaps feeling on this day or you're supposed to feel with this energy, you're supposed to feel that something which you carried for quite some time and it was burdened. And it wasn't easy on your obligations, responsibilities, some project around your home, your personal stuff. Wasn't easy. You carried that problems, that worries, that obligations, responsibilities for quite some time. And you are feeling perhaps on this day that it's going to be over. You were about to finish with that. Usually some sort of reward supposed to follow. There was always a reason why you've been doing this. And you were expecting some sort of creation. I think this is a newness, new idea, which you were having in your mind once you finish with this. You can't wait now to start something else. You've got it on your mind, it's certain, and it's doable for you. Energy of King of Wands is doability of whatever that's on your mind. You feel confident, you're certain. Now, as soon as I finish with this, just to take this out of my way, okay, then I'm going to do this. And you were excited about that. This is fiery energy, ready to create something else. Very serious creative energy with King of Wands. Certainty, confidence, accountability, readiness. Everything is there with this energy. Also, um, it's just yours usually, very individual, usually talks about you being able to create something else yourself, not depending on other people, not depending maybe on government. This is just something for you or out of you, okay, and you don't need any help perhaps. And if you do need help, it will be easy for you to get to encounter help for yourself. But this Monday is all about waiting for this to complete. Just now it will be and you will start something else. That kind of moment, some, some burden you will take off your back, definitely. There was burden, maybe because it lasted too long, maybe it was difficult, maybe for whatever. I mean, something that was burdening you, but you are not, you are not, um, but you are not abandoning it. This is responsible energy. I will bring it to an end. I'll complete this. Even if it's difficult, you will complete it. You, you'll finish with it. And then, oh, you will start something which you really like, which you are excited about, and you're very confident that you will create perfectly for yourself, by yourself. Lovely energy is here for you. Um, on Monday. Not so much with the Ten of Wands representing burden, but uh, very much with King of Wands representing newness, new idea, new creative idea, confidence that you can create now, just now, as soon as this one is finished. And it's just about to be finished. Anyway, that's your Monday, Scorpio. Hi, Sagittarius. So, Sage. Your Monday with judgment. Jesus, this judgment everywhere. Judgment. Chariot. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna pair it immediately with a page of pentacles on a Monday. Look, this could be decision for some of you to um, 
study something okay to go and enroll for some course computer course or whatever to decide about your schooling about your education about um, university you're gonna attend or so it is perhaps your education page is the learner maybe something around your child maybe your child is making that sort of important decision and you are helping there uh, on this day will be announced what you're gonna study what your child gonna study um, what is gonna happen now judgment is normally connected to to the past okay this whatever that you decide on this day whatever that you are looking at like this is for me i love this okay is connected to things that you used to do or you should study earlier and now this is decision to continue with something which you used to do or, or to redo it again like you learned once something okay something very practical but you never implemented you never worked with it now decision is here to get back to that knowledge and to start again with the very same thing but in a new way now certain way this is certain judgment brings decision and this decision is well thought decision judgment is judging the situation it's not something you know that you just got up in the new on the day judgment does have experience okay there's experience from your past there's knowledge there's something from your past and it was kind of finding little compartment for itself <laughs> with time okay and now time has come on this day to resurrect now this is the right thing this is the right knowledge this is the right career this is the right thing for me to do very practical energy might be that you are just thinking to do something very concrete you will repair your computer but you will do it by yourself because you were very technical you always liked stuff like that since childhood now you will go through that instruction book and you will do it could be something like that but could be something more because judgment is is a long-standing energy something which will stay from now on is not going to change soon in the case that is something a bit more important so that's why i'm saying perhaps some learning some knowledge practical skill which you are acquiring which will be useful for you for your future you can do something with that in that sense this monday stands as important day judgment always always important this is always important decision stays forever i mean it's not forever it can be changed but not every day this isn't something which changes every day that what you will be that what you're going to decide on this day that you're going to learn or do or something important for your future will stay for a long time it's not going to change soon so it's important day for you this monday hey capricorn so capricorn your monday with a six of swords six of swords is movement slow movement but important is because moves away from something which was problem okay it's like like leaving behind some some conflict some big hard work some difficult circumstances you found yourself in just now just recently and you have decided that you're going to leave it behind this um, six of swords that doesn't solve problem problem is solved in fact by not dealing with problem anymore it, there was some sort of entanglement other people you third parties and so and you detached yourself you extracted yourself it's not my problem anymore it's yours okay so you don't have to worry about that anymore just extracting yourself or ignoring it you don't want to be part of that conflict you don't want to be part of that business that the job which is difficult you don't want to be part of it and you are leaving it behind or situation just or not or situation just began to dissipate and you feel good now on this day feels better it's not feeling good but better feel good is somewhere out there on another side you are going slowly towards that feel good place but uh, yeah on this day is easier definitely not anymore as it used to be not difficult as it used to be king of swords is your decision okay it or somebody else's decision doesn't matter this could be gemini libra aquarius person could be just you making decision no this isn't my problem i am extracting myself i am resigning from 
from this work. I am not doing this anymore. I am not signing this contract. You see what I'm saying? If there was something which became too entangled, too conflicting, too difficult for you, you didn't want to deal with it. You didn't want to discuss it anymore. There was no solution otherwise. All the logic implies that you're just supposed to leave it behind. You just extract yourself and move your own way. That was solution. Do not even try to solve this problem. Maybe conflict, you know, when family has a conflict, sometimes it comes to the breaking point and conflict in general could be ignored. Now decision just to ignore it, don't mention it anymore. And we will, will and we will go towards happier times. It will be quieter. It will be bearable. It's it's bearable. Seven six of swords is bearable now. So it's not anymore that you, that you have so much worries, so much of conflict, so much of hard work. You extracted yourself and now is bearable. Better times you were expecting. Definitely you were clever here. You understand where you were head, heading. You know that is not here. It's not today. But better times, a better place is just around the corner for you and there where you were heading. That's your Monday defending something which you achieved already you battle for something you learned something you did some project you were engaged in something but you haven't finished this is about time for you to complete it completion is um, in front of you the last thing which you're supposed to do like you were studying for years now and this is your last exam only one left to you know to complete it but you have to put effort you have to study you have to get a diploma you have to get a degree without that last exam you can't get it in that sense without this last thing okay you cannot have it lot to lose in fact if you don't complete it if you don't finish this time could be something which you were doing for ages you know and lately you were lazy you kind of didn't feel like and now time has come you have to you know you must complete it in that sense king of swords look this is decision this is your decision this is clarity that you have to tie up these loose ends you have to finally complete this project time has come just that what i told you this is confirmation of everything which i told you about the nine of wands it's not happy energy okay you've done a lot and you are tired you you would rather not to but you have to you see what i'm saying that that sort of moment that sort of feeling today i have to do it i mean that's your understanding the whole logic is there okay clarity i have to finish with that i cannot drag this anymore i must complete it i must tie up must tie up these loose ends or maybe look often nine of wands talks about perfecting something something which you have completed okay it's ready made it's done but then you are not satisfied with it okay you have decided no, no i will redo this okay to make it perfect and then i will release it or so could be project whatever that decision is about but you have to decision is to finish it you cannot drag it you cannot leave it unfinished just that clarity you have on this day look um king of swords often is something official often is contract which you're supposed to sign often is contract which you're supposed to fulfill and it's almost there you sign the contract you will do this within i don't know year period okay and now that year period is over you're supposed to complete it maybe some due date as well you know this is very official very strict due date you must do it up until this week this tuesday or something you see um, and you are rushing to do it nine of wands anyway that's your monday hi pisces yeah, so <clears throat> Monday. <laughs> With Seven of Swords, unpleasant energy. It's energy of thief. Somebody took something from you or you took something from another, something which doesn't belong to you um, or you have decided to leave some conflict some conflicting situation, some terrible situation, you find yourself in and you have decided, okay, doesn't matter what I'm going to lose, what I'm going to gain, if I will leave it behind, I'm going by myself, my own way, I'm not going to be part of it anymore. In that sense, seven of swords, a bit unpleasant and, yeah, you will... You, you are searching for some sort of wisdom, but it's not easy on you. This Monday is difficult on you. Um, 
Pisces, you have to make difficult decision. It's like you've got a group of people you were uh, doing business with. This is your maybe office, this is maybe your family. Um, something was out there, something was out there you were part of, some project or so. And somehow ended up being trouble, fight all the time. This person is getting out of the war. This fight, this trouble, this sacrifices, an unpleasant, horrible situation in that environment, that previous environment, in that project, in that, I don't know, with, this, with that group of people. Uh, employment or maybe whatever that was, but you are leaving it. The decision is there and decision isn't easy. Now, perhaps you still don't know where you were going, where you were heading. Now you're going to leave that, okay? You cannot stand being that anymore. It's difficult. It's not for you. You are not taking it any longer. You're going to leave it behind. You're going on your own way. But what is exactly your way? how exactly you're going to get there. You see what I'm saying? You will find, I mean, the hermit energy is a wisdom, diligent energy, can sacrifice a lot to get to that point. And perhaps you will need to sacrifice a lot to get to that point where you feel good about yourself, or where you have a visibility for yourself. Not to feel good about yourself, just have visibility for yourself. Um, this day isn't easy, definitely. It's going to be heavy on you. You will find your way, you will find solution, but it's not going to be easy. You might suffer some loss on this day in order to get yourself to that um, position where you can plan your future, where you can see your future or art. Um, you might need to sacrifice something um, or to go through some difficulties. This is not easy day, this Monday. Difficult circumstances, difficult problems to solve. Maybe just your personal, okay? Nobody can help you here. You Perhaps you could ask around, but this time you cannot ask around. It's for you to deal with this, I don't know, hell of a problem which you were having. You can't take it any longer. Perhaps, as I said, you might suffer some loss on this day in order to find your way to have visibility for yourself but you will perhaps have to sacrifice something on the way monday